Welcome to Mac Training Academy. I'm Professor Joey Mack, and today we're going to go through entering into the neon belly. Before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Do a couple quick ones, and then we'll go into it. Triangle. Let's break this down. So the neon belly position, I think I'll go from right, right about here. So for the neon belly position, to enter in from side control, I like to go from a modified, I'm not going from here. I bring my hand back to the hip right here, and I, I have it ready with a hook and post. This other hand comes up onto the shoulder. Now if this is gi, you can just go ahead and grab the material. And from here, I already have my knee by his hip, and so I basically do a push up with my body, and I continue, I slide my knee up along his body the whole time, keeping that space taken, and I come up onto his body. I like to go slightly across at a diagonal. Some people like to go horizontal. Some people like to go really vertical. There are preferences depending on what you want to do, but that's my preference is to go mostly towards the shoulder at a diagonal. Now, other details is I want, spin a little bit. I want my shoelaces tight to his hip. That helps to start preventing some of those pushes and scoops. And then the other foot, I want in line with his shoulder girdle. So now I can start to put weight and I can go and work from here. One more time, I'm here, I'm controlling. Maybe it's not working, pin, pin. And I do a slight push up with my elbows tight and in. From here, my foot comes out um, slightly past my knee and in line with his shoulder girdles, foot's tight to his body. And then my knee, depending on how miserable I want to make it, I can go right towards the center of his chest and be really mean. <clears throat> that would be entering into the basic knee on belly position. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments section. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.